So we are on the final stage of our project and you see from the both sides what we started with the render, the raw render and what we produced finally with the post production and final adjustment and this is our final result. And let's jump back to Photoshop and see what we can do at the our final stage by pressing Ctrl Shift C and Ctrl Shift and V you can merge the whole layers in one to become one image and I use this because I just want to avoid uh, some mistake or things which I don't want to do on my uh, adjustment and I'm starting first with the curves and you see the lights increase a bit more in detail and uh, in color after that by pressing ctrl shift and v I'm merging the same image again and put it on above Let's go to filter others and high pass with 1.6 percentage and put it on overlay mode. You can become you, you be, actually you become more contrast on your image. Uh, let's try a bit more something with camera roll, which you can find on the fi a filter and also you can bring some more clarity and sharpness in detail you can also control the shadows the highlights and contrast the exposure is there also and the temperature there is a lot of options in the camera roll which i think and i found personally very powerful for my final adjustment and in general my post-production workflow there is also saturation and camera fixture. You can also choose your uh, exact camera, and this is one of my favorite plugins, which I'm using pretty often. Color FX Pro, and when you use it, you see immediately it creates a new mask, which you can use by painting over or uh, to create a new adjustment mode in your uh, general image but I personally prefer to work uh, further with the brush tool painting over in the mask with the white to bring some more color and sharpness and this is what the color effects made for my image which I think is uh, pretty strong and to overexposure uh, and you need to bear in mind also that uh, if you bring some much more than uh, needed effects on your post-production you can burn out your image which will be not so nice and professional also you can try something more uh, doing color dodge mod and spinning over with the gradient mm, I'm personally my favorite method is just by bending over with the black curl and put an opacity on 8% and just with the brush to color it over with a bit yellowish in my case to bring the colors much higher let's try another filter effect but first i need to merge again the results until now what i got on my post production and go to filter lens correction custom and there you can find the vignetting amount and by increasing start to appear on both sides of your image as you see and I think that's pretty enough 
for what I would like to have in my image. A bit more further with the camera roll effects. Um, I like the person pretty much because uh, first you have a nice control over the whole image and here for example I can pick a brush and some desired area and to have control only on the picket points which I chose previously in my post production and to play over with the saturation and the clarity in my image or if I have some area which I like to color in the light more I would like to bring it over I pick again another spot point and I play a little bit more with the exposure and the sh shadow also the sharpness or the temperature at all and this is what I've got on my final image, so thanks for watching.